What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo. And I wanted to do a video, guys, using the Blast version of Jean Grey because actually in ABL today, we can actually use a Blast female mutant. And I wanted to show you guys how well she actually performs. Now, I did re-roll my Brilliant, right? This was at 28%. Now it's at 32%. And we have almost an extra 2% chain hit damage on this thing. And we have a 220% proc instead of a 200% proc. I rolled two CTP, I used two CTPs of Greed, and this is what I got. Now, these are decent rolls, definitely. I mean, this is the max, 32% is the max as far as the all attack. I really wanted the increased additional type skill damage. That's really what I want because, you know, players have told me that's just way, way better. And in the run that you guys are going to see today, I definitely can do more damage with a CTP of Rage, versus this thing in fact you know i want to give a big shout out to asif 007 you guys can check out his channel he put out a video today of gene gray doing over four million in abl using this uniform now he's got a super awesome build he has really good cards but still that is damn impressive to see that is really really awesome i'm not going to do near that well because i don't have as much energy attack i don't have near as good a build and i'm using this brilliant that i really think the rage especially a reforged rage would do way way better now you guys can take a look at the stats we got 100 energy attack we have you know low attack speed critical race at 52 but the critical damage is max ignore defense is pretty much maxed out right and she only has three Odin's Blessings on her. And then the rest of her energy attack are Mythic. So she's got a long way to go. I can definitely make her a lot stronger than what she is. And we're going to be using, you know, uh, Deadpool here for the Striker. Now, again, guys, just like her other uniforms, her Tier 3 is really where it's at. And her Tier 3 is in an iframe, right? So Surtur can't hit you whenever you're using it, which is actually really, really nice. you got to be careful with some of her skills because she will be kind of in front of Surtur. And if she gets hit, she loses a lot of damage, which isn't good, right? But the thing that's nice about, you know, using this one is that, you know, she has other uniforms that makes her accessible in other game modes, right? And if you've been playing this game for a while and you have these uniforms, it's actually pretty damn awesome because she might not be the best because Storm's actually better than her. But, you know, she'll maybe get a good enough score to where you'll be satisfied until maybe a future mutant comes along that you want to level up, right? Or maybe you're just waiting for Storm, whatever the case may be. But this version actually does fairly well. Nothing great, nothing over the top, right? But you don't have to worry about dying because you have the heal. You know, you can go into your iframes immediately, which is nice. You got the attack buffs. She plays very similar to what she plays with in her other uniforms, right? But it is a little bit different. But I mean, but she builds up her tier four super, super fast, which is awesome. But you literally... What you want to do with this one is you just want to go, you know, three and then four, five, two, and then four, five, right? You want to, you can cancel the four immediately, guys. And she shoots out those beams and that's the way to go. And you always want to try to get that fifth skill and third skill before you do the tier three. So it'd be something like this. And then the tier three. And then obviously you would hit the tier four also at the same time, right? To do a bunch, a bunch of damage. And she can do pretty well. Like I said, guys, with a rage, with a better build, she's going to do a lot better than what I'm actually going to show her today. But I am going to show that she actually is quite strong. Uh, overdrive, right? Really power banger hawk would be better. Again, if we had that artifact, guys, uh, damage to superheroes and super villains would be nice. And of course, the brilliant. And her uniform is at mythic, right? Now, I do have, you know, some all attack here on the last stat right here. We have a mythic uniform for this energy attack right here. And then we have some dodge right here. Actually, what I should have done is change this to attack speed. Like this one here, we can change to attack speed. Should have changed that to attack speed. That would have actually, I think, been a little bit better. Yeah, this one here, dodge, would be just fine. So let me pull up the run for you guys. We'll kind of skip along here because I know I start over. There we go. There we go. Now we're using Polaris' leadership and we're using Dazzler for her extra damage to super villains that apply to mutants. And you really got to make sure you're moving around, sir. Get behind him. Because if you're in front of him, he will do damage to you, which is not what you want. Now, it's always RNG factor, guys, when you play against Surtur. Because he moves around and runs around all over the damn place. Really, really annoying. 
I mean, it's weird. I like playing ABL, but sometimes I really can't stand it. There we go. There, I should have hit my third skill first and then went into my four or five afterwards. But as you guys can see, you know, Regine's doing fairly well. Like I said, she's not going to be the ultimate meta here. I mean, Tier 4 Storm is going to be better than her. But she's doing all right, right? I mean, so this just gives you another reason to level up uh, Jean Grey. Because if you have her, guys, and especially if you take her to Tier 4, you're going to have the striker ability where you can always cancel starter. You can always cancel them over and over and over. And you don't have to level up as many characters. There is a lot of investment for Jean Grey, for sure. But I think it's really well worth it because, I mean, I can tell you guys, like, my account, especially if you're not a competitive ABX player or you're not in a competitive alliance, which most players are not in, then you can just get a good enough score to where you can get some good rewards out of here, right? You know, you can get your materials for your awakened uh, characters. And, you know, whenever she does the four or five guys, she is in an eye frame. And that really, really helps. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait to get a rage on this girl. I'm probably going to reforge a rage for her, in all honesty. I'm just waiting for, uh, you know. Now, see, that really sucked, man. She went all the way over there to the top there. That really sucked. So we lost a little bit of damage there. Just annoying as hell. But I didn't, you know, I played this a few times, guys. I really didn't want to play it 20 million times. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, if Surtur moves around whenever she's in that iframe, that's what happens, right? You can't go into your skills whenever you're doing your Tier 3, and it really is annoying. You know, it, it's it's one of them deals where you got to play it over and over and over to try to get a good score. This actually was one of the first runs I did. It's just the runs I did afterwards. I didn't do as good a damage, so I just kept this run right here for you guys. But I mean, she's, you know, she's over 2 million, right? She's over 2 million. Uh, I guarantee with a rage, I could do over 3 million. Uh, no problem on this account. Especially if I would play it over and over and over and actually try to get the best score, right? But honestly, I'm just not that worried about getting the, you know, the maximum score. But as you guys can see, you know, 2.6 million. 2.6 million with a rage, guys. I would do over 3 million more than likely. Probably get about over 3 million with 120% energy attack, right? Which is pretty damn good. So, I mean, I can tell you guys that I'll be using Gene for Blast Female Mutant Day. I'll be using her. So, I mean, you know, like on my account, she's been useful in this uniform. She is useful in this uniform for the. Uh, uh, requirements against Ultron. She's obviously going to be useful in the Dark Phoenix uniform, right? Like, she's, it's pretty damn awesome. Like, all these uniforms that she has are actually pretty useful. You know, like, this uniform here isn't the meta, guys. It's not the best, but I'll tell you what, she's super easy to keep alive. She's easy to play in there, and it's just some easy points for you. So, I think for a lot of players, they, they might use this uniform, you know, like myself. Right? Especially if they already have it, they've been playing for a long time. And I can actually get like 3 million points with my Psylocke in uh, Blast Female Mutant Day, right? So I didn't get as many points with my Jean Grey. But with Jean Grey, guys, you know, because of her striker ability, I don't have to switch my character. I can just keep her in there the whole time. It's much easier to keep her alive than Psylocke. So personally, I'm just not that worried about losing those points. And again, when I put a rage on her, if I build her up, then it's going to be a different story. So, guys, let me know what you think about Jean Grey and her Blast uniform. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GG plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.